Hello, and welcome to this video about the making of The Wizard of Oz. This classic movie has been beloved by audiences for over 80 years, and it's not hard to see why. From its timeless characters to its unforgettable songs, The Wizard of Oz has captured the hearts of generations. But did you know that there are some strange and fascinating facts about the making of this iconic movie? In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the most interesting tidbits from behind the scenes of The Wizard of Oz. So please, like, share and come with me Al. The original Tin Man actor was replaced. One of the most memorable characters in The Wizard of Oz is the Tin Man, played by actor Jack Haley. But did you know that he wasn't the original actor cast in the role? Buddy Ebsen was originally cast as the Tin Man, but he had to drop out of the production due to a severe allergic reaction to the aluminum powder used in his makeup. Haley replaced him, but the makeup was changed to a safer aluminum paste. The Wicked Witch had a dangerous costume. Actress Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch of the West, had a costume that was both iconic and dangerous. The witch's dress was made of highly flammable materials, and during one scene where the witch disappears in a burst of flame, Hamilton was badly burned. She had to take six weeks off from filming to recover. Toto was paid more than some munchkins. Toto, the dog who played Dorothy's faithful companion, was paid a higher salary than some of the actors who played the Munchkins. Toto was paid $125 a week, while some of the Munchkins earned just $50 a week. The Yellow Brick Road was made of jello. The Yellow Brick Road in The Wizard of Oz was made of a surprising material, yellow painted jello. The gelatin was used because it gave the road a shimmering, magical quality on film. The horse of a different color was actually several horses. In one memorable scene, Dorothy and her friends encounter a horse that changes color several times. But in reality, the effect was achieved by using several different horses, each painted a different color. The Cowardly Lion's costume was made from real lion skin. Bert Lahr, who played the Cowardly Lion, had a costume that was made from real lion skin. The costume was made by using fur from several lions, which had been hunted and killed for sport. Today, the use of real animal fur in costumes is considered unethical and is not allowed. The snow used in the poppy field scene was asbestos. In one scene, Dorothy and her companions fall asleep in a poppy field covered in snow. The snow used in the scene was actually asbestos, a highly toxic substance that was commonly used in movies and other productions at the time. Today, the use of asbestos is strictly regulated and highly discouraged. Judy Garland's ruby slippers were originally silver. In L. Frank Baum's original book, the magical shoes worn by Dorothy were silver, not ruby. The filmmakers changed the color of the shoes to take advantage of the new Technicolor film process, which made the red shoes pop on screen. The original pair of ruby slippers worn by Judy Garland in the movie are now considered one of the most valuable pieces of movie memorabilia in the world. The Munchkins had their own hotel. During filming, the Munchkin actors were housed in a special hotel that was built just for them. The hotel had smaller doors and furniture to accommodate their smaller stature. The Munchkins also had their own dining room and a special bar where they could relax and socialize after filming. The role of Toto was almost played by a different dog. Judy Garland's dog, a Cairn Terrier, was originally considered for the role of Toto. However, the dog was busy working on another movie at the time, so the role went to another Cairn Terrier, who was owned by a Hollywood animal trainer. 
The dog went on to become a beloved star in his own right and appeared in several other movies and TV shows. Well, that's just a taste of some of the fascinating facts about the making of The Wizard of Oz. From the dangers faced by the actors to the surprising materials used to create the movie's iconic scenes, there's no shortage of interesting stories from behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about this classic movie. If you did, please give it a pause up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching!